fellow, uh, my fellow subscribers. Wow, it's it's here. It's uh, March twenty fifth, also known as Ed Day, and also known as the day that a great animator that we all known and loved for him, his friends, and his animation, Ed Gould. Six years ago today, can you believe it? <laughs> Six years since we lost him. It's, it's unbelievable. Six years later, it, it shocks me. And from what I've seen, I know this is supposed to be a, a day honoring him, but at the same time, I've seen the dark side of the Ed's World fandom. It's, it's sad. It's sad to see a fandom that he created and with fans who are immature and shipping the real life people. You don't do that at all. Honestly, you, you can't do that because in the end you're damaging the real people's lives. And threatening them too? Are you serious? Come on, you should know better. Ed did not create Ed's world to be toxic. He created it to inspire others like me and my friends on, on the Discord servers that I'm on. You know, you can't just take one real life person and another real life person and just ship them like that and spreading it everywhere to the point where they actually see that and they get sick to their stomach you can't you can't do that no ed wouldn't like that he wouldn't like that at all even even matt one of Ed's really closest friend got threatened by fans about him and his wife. I feel bad for him, and Tom left Edworld because of the toxicity of the fandom. Those young, immature fans who are shipping him with Tord or whoever. You can't do that. No, that's wrong. No, this is why I not. This is why I don't wear this green hoodie. I should be proud to wear this hoodie, this this green hoodie that I have. Not only it's my favorite color, and I love this hoodie, but this hoodie honors Ed and his work, and his friends, and the fans that are mature enough to stop those who are immature. You can't ship real people with other real people. You could do it in fiction, give them different names, but you can't ship them in real life. You can't. Ed wouldn't, if he were still here, he wouldn't like this. You can't get away with this. Not on my watch, not on everybody else's watch. You could create fan art, you could create Ed on a light cycle, or Tom writing, I don't know, playing his guitar, or Matt looking himself in the mirror, or your own original characters hanging out with them. But shipping them? Making them do the do? And spreading it online and be like, oh my god, eh, 
Ah, ah, oh my god, it's so hot. Ah. No. Just no. Today is a very special day to remember Ed and his work in the community, his friends, his fans, and those who have inspired. I would usually have a Coke in my hand, but it's like, it's like 10, 13 in the morning. I just got out of the shower, so. Well, besides my point. Oops. Here we go. Here's to you, Ed. Here's to Tom as well, Matt, and all of the people that worked with him, and those who were his friends too. Thank you for keeping the Ed's World fandom safe <sighs> for all six years. This one's to you, Ed. This one's for you, man. I know you've created this world with your own hands and with the help of your friends to be a safe community where people can share ideas and create stories. But again, I know this is supposed to be a light video, but sometimes it can't be sunshine and lollipops you know it can't it can't be like that all the time there's always have to be a light side and a dark side but us mature fans who knows the difference between real and fiction know what the difference is like me I've drew I've drew Ed and his crew times and times and on the sims 3 i've created the ed's world crew which was pretty cool you know i created them on sims 3 and i gave them a big house cars and furniture and everything and the right clothing the right hoodies all of that that's pretty cool for fan for fan like me like that that doesn't go batshit crazy uh, I, I don't do that. No, I respect. Respect is key to a fandom. Always respect the people behind it. This is a message to the Ed's World fan community. Always respect the people behind the scenes, including Matt and the rest of the Edsville community or what is left. This is coming from a fan that's been a fan of Ed's World since its beginning. When I watched it back in 2006? 2006, I think? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. 2006, 2007. With my good friend at the time. I enjoyed your work, Ed. I've always have. To the point where I drew you guys one time. I created you guys on Sims 3. That's that, that's pretty cool. I remember creating Ed's World Sims on the Sims 3. That was pretty cool. I didn't I did not ship them in any way. They were just best friends, you know, living in a community, living in a big house. You got your cars. Perfect life. You guys know how to cook. I, I taught Tom how to play the guitar in The Sims 3. And then with Matt, I had mirrors for him, and then Ed, I had cars. <laughs> Goes to show how much you care about them fictionally. 
but no shipping whatsoever. No. Nope. Just three best friends having a good time in a virtual in a virtual game. It was all fiction. It was not real. The game is fictional. And it's not real. So there you have it. <sighs> well, sorry if the video turned dark at the beginning. I just had to let something off my chest about the Edsworld community because I care. And there's others that care too. And there's others that tell the toxic side, stop what you're doing and think. If Ed were still alive, would he like this? Would he like seeing his best friends being shipped and fucking? Really? He would have been disappointed. I'm disappointed. But I try to keep, I try to keep my cool down. Because, you know, next thing you know, I can be commented on. Oh, why'd you say that? I'm like, grow the fuck up. Okay? Grow up. I don't wear this green hoodie for nothing, you know? This hoodie means a lot. And again, I love this hoodie. It's my favorite color. But I wear this for Ed. And many others were, too. So with that said, happy a day, guys. And I hope it's a good one to you all. This is Mike Skate TV, signing off. Take care, and thank you.